Hello, Greece says it remains fully committed to honouring the European Union and International Monetary Fund aid programme for the country. But Prime Minister George Papandreou has warned of a catastrophic default, confirming talks about a second possible bailout have been discussed. Papandreou says a new aid package would be roughly equal to the one it accepted a year ago. That was about $157 billion. Well, he was speaking ahead of a parliamentary vote of confidence in his new cabinet. He has already appealed for support from the opposition to help avoid national bankruptcy. Well, Eurozone finance ministers are currently meeting in Luxembourg, where the latest slice of aid from the first EU IMF bailout is expected to be released. $17 billion is the figure that Greece is hoping for. Well, let's speak now to Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera's Tim Friend, who joins us live from Athens. And uh, Tim, give us an idea of just how heated the debate was in the Greek parliament. Well, uh, the debate uh, took place earlier. There's a big demonstration, as you can probably hear and see behind me, and we'll talk about that later. But uh, in Parliament, the Prime Minister made an impassioned plea for national unity. He insisted in so many words that his was the only route to salvation, as it were, that there was more austerity to come. It was the only way to guarantee more money for Greece to ensure that it could basically keep running. Uh, the opposition were having none of that. They were saying, look, only a few days ago you were saying you would step aside in the interests of national unity and try and form another administration. So if you don't believe in your own government, how can you, uh, how can you expect us to believe in you? Um, that was from the centre-right party who spoke immediately after the Prime Minister. Then came the communists who still have a sizable constituency here and they said essentially this was a rip-off uh, of the Greek people and the only people to benefit from all this eventually would be the creditors. In, in other words, the international community that's lending to uh, Greece. But I think we can hear now and get a flavour of what the Prime Minister had to say in Parliament earlier. We should agree that our problems will not be solved if we throw out the International Monetary Fund, if we throw out our partners, or if the IMF, the European Central Bank and the European Commission never step foot in this country again. Let's understand that the responsibility now is ours for the future of the country and it's in our hands to change the situation, that we're already changing the situation and this is our commitment. Tim, you've already mentioned the demonstration being held there in the capital, Athens. How big is the turnout for this one? Because the Greeks have been protesting on and off for the last couple of months, haven't they? They have. This is the 29th day now. This square outside Parliament is never empty now of protesters. Last week it turned violent. Uh, so far this evening it's been peaceful, as have uh, most of the earlier demonstrations here but the anger that people feel is palpable uh, some of it incidentally directed at the press uh, the greek press at least is perceived to be uh, somewhat uh, unfair according to the protesters which is why we're having and you may be able to see them these green lights shone at us laser lights shone at us occasionally um, but yeah, the, the anger is, is, is deep and uh, they resent uh, having to pay the price uh, for the mistakes of others as they see it, the mistakes of banks, of financiers. Uh, and of course, uh, many people are feeling the pinch. It's been said many times before, but they fear for their pensions, they fear for their wages, they fear for their jobs. And um, I think these demonstrations are going to continue, but whether they will have any influence on the course of events is an entirely different matter. The problem for the politicians here is they're being dictated to by the International Monetary Fund and events that are even now taking place elsewhere in Europe with the Eurozone finance ministers. They are the ones now calling the shots. The Greeks really are having to simply comply and do what they say. Tim Friend, live with the latest from that demonstration there in Athens. Thanks, Tim.